I am very proud to say that I was the very first person to put the song Inside the Castle Walls from Super Mario 64 on the internet. Probably. I still remember the first time I heard a clip of this song. It was in a little video clip that I downloaded in 1996. It was like eight seconds long and about the size of a post-it note on my screen, but man, it was so cool and I instantly fell in love with the music. Uh, the internet was a different place back in 1996. So this was before YouTube, uh, before Gmail. This was even before the Google search engine officially launched. The average number of computers in people's homes was between zero and one. And if you had an internet connection, it was so slow. Actual recordings of music were enormous. And even the smallest music recordings would take hours to download. So instead, people like me downloaded and listened to MIDI files. Most of the time, MIDI files sounded like crap, but they were so small that you could download them instantly, even on a slow internet connection. So that's how I listened to video game music back in the day. Now, I didn't get a Nintendo 64. I never even had a Super Nintendo, but my best friend got one as soon as it came out. And I was so excited to finally be able to hear the entire song from Super Mario 64. So here's what we did. I called him on the phone, you know, the phone attached to the wall. He held his phone up to his TV speakers and I held a microphone up to my phone and recorded it. The audio quality, as expected, was terrible. I then took that recording, I listened to it over and over again and I used it to create a MIDI file of the song. Now, MIDI files don't just get recorded from like a microphone. Instead, I listened to the recording and I slowly typed in every note by hand. And when I was all finished, I had the song, I submitted it to the most popular website that hosted video game MIDI music files, vgmusic.com. And that's the story of how I was the first person to put the song Inside the Castle Walls from Super Mario 64 on the internet. Over the years, I was beginning to question my memory though. I couldn't find the MIDI file that I submitted. There was Inside the Castle Walls version 2 and version 3 posted by other people, but not mine. So I went to the internet archive and looked up a copy of the website from May 2000, and there it was with my name and everything. Inside the Castle Walls, version one, from 1996. The file itself even had my name and original email address still in it. It was fun finally hearing it again. So, how does it sound? It's fine. It's not perfect. But I loved listening to it back then. And here it is now. <laughs>